Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and we are in a system of a binary pulsar and today in this video we're going to be talking about pulsars and specifically how we can use these beautiful objects in navigation. NASA has just been able to prove this and we're going to be discussing this technique. Welcome to What The Math. So what you're looking at right now is actually a binary pulsar system that has been discovered a few decades ago and this is known as the Taylor Hulse um, system that has these pulsars basically um, emitting their pulsations across the sky. Now this is slowed down dramatically, if you were to look at this in real time you would see something like this they do spin really fast and they do emit quite a lot of light really really quickly. Now because uh, they emit light so predictably and in such an interesting fashion, the scientists for the longest time speculated that just like um, other beacons of light, these objects can actually be used in um, navigation. And just like that, finally, NASA was able to actually place a, a very interesting uh, mechanism known as Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer, also known as NSICE, that they actually had um, orbiting around Earth in the International Space Station. And they were able to use this device to predict the location of ISS within like three miles of where it really was. In other words, using 14 different pulsars um, around the sky, all of which were actually thousands and thousands of light years away from us, they were able to use these pulsations from different locations to basically predict where the ISS was located. So the idea here is pretty simple. You have one pulsar in this location, you have another pulsar somewhere over there doing its own emissions. And as you're looking at uh, these pulsars from different angles, you should be able to estimate where your actual location is. Now, this actually isn't super accurate when it comes to orbiting around Earth, but it is extremely accurate in a situation where you have no idea where you're really located. So let me show you an example. So let's say here we are right next to our beautiful planet Earth in our newly developed, incredibly powerful spaceship that's about to uh, go on a space adventure somewhere out there in the galaxy. We started our uh, interstellar drives, which we obviously have invented already, and uh, we basically go on a little bit of adventure using our warp drive. Now this kind of happened a little bit too fast, uh, as a matter of fact a little bit faster than I thought it would, but we are now in a kind of a warp state where we're traveling really really fast across space. It's very difficult to see it from this angle so I'm going to change my angle a little bit just to show you that we are basically warping through space. Now um, after a while, well maybe we just either haven't really been doing a good job at paying attention to where we're going or something happens and we end up in a completely different location that we're from where we were actually going. So let's let's run this for a little bit longer until we uh, find ourselves uh, pretty far from planet Earth. As a matter of fact, maybe a little bit too far. Uh, yeah, I think this is a little bit too far. Anyway, let's stop our warp engines and uh, well, it seems like Earth is really far away now. Where are we? How do we find out where we are? And this is where the Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer comes in handy. We can now start looking for familiar signals, specifically very, very uh, powerful emissions from pulsars that always emit similar parameters, similar frequency and relatively similar power. So here, let's actually see if we can maybe look up one of the most uh, famous pulsars we know that has a name known as the Lich and it's actually located right there at around 15.8 thousand light years from us. Now if we were to be able to detect this pulsar knowing um, where it is in relation to Earth we can now basically take a look at where it is in relation to us and looking at it basically um, at this specific angle and looking at a few other pulsars that we might discover in the vicinity by essentially scanning the skies, we might be able to estimate where exactly we're located. And the more pulsars we discover, 
the more um, accurate information we'll have about our location based simply on the actual uh, degrees based on the actual relative uh, positioning of those pulsars in relation to our own ship. This is actually probably the most accurate system right now that we have for essentially detecting um, your location in, in the galaxy independent of all of the other parameters. Now, modern satellites actually do use uh, a lot of other techniques. Like, for example, there's a technique that uses very bright stars um, and tries to estimate the spacecraft's location in comparison to the sun and that star. There's also uh, another system that uses what's known as Deep Space Network, which is basically an active um, antenna emitter on, located on Earth that uh, can be used to detect your location in space as well. But unfortunately, it's not very accurate at far distances. And there's another system uh, known as Deep Space Positioning System that's very similar to GPS in the sense that it basically allows us to um, use the asteroid belt in our own solar system to essentially uh, reflect light from the asteroids and to try to detect the location that way. Now, all of those systems are great for the uh, solar system for when we're trying to locate ourselves w uh, in relation to other objects in our own solar system. But if you actually start warping around space, and if you start moving at ridiculously high speeds away from our planet Earth, and basically if you start uh, using interstellar travel, those systems won't really help you anymore. So you do have to develop some kind of a new technique. And in this case, the pulsar navigation is the best one we've discovered so far, and the one that we've actually been able to prove um, on the International Space Station as a very, very functional very unique and also very accurate system well let's actually see where we get in our beautiful spacecraft we're going to fly around space and space engine and accelerate time a little bit just to see how far we can get in this beautiful yet somewhat unusual looking uh, science vessel that's all i wanted to talk about in this video though and hopefully you learned something from it and hopefully now you know a little bit more about space navigation and specifically how we can use pulsars to detect uh various positions in space and how the scientists in the future will probably be using pulsars to navigate now what's interesting about this particular simulation is that you can kind of see that warping um around space actually creates a very unusual effect everything behind us is actually uh, stretch toward us it appears a little bit closer than it, than it should be and as I move across my vessel you'll see these very unusual warping effects on the side and then in front of us everything is far 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 away this is a very unique uh, effect that the space station creates and it's actually something that is relatively realistic anyway let's see where we got to disengage the warp engines and look at that we are basically somewhere really really far away in the intergalactic space there's nothing near us at all well thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you tomorrow space out and as always bye bye